Good morning, you two. How are you doing? Good Very morning. happy to talk to you. Well, no, I'm happy to talk to you because you love food as much as I do, but that girl sitting next yes. to you, she doesn't like mustard. Now we've got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you something? I like it now. Oh, good. When I was a kid, hesitant, but now love mustard, prefer it on a hot dog, need it on a soft pretzel, very avid mustard fan. Just want to clear my name, okay? But but will you put the mustard on eggs? Oh, Ooh. I've never done that. I've never done that. Oh my God, yes, it's unbelievable. I mean, it just gives it a different kind of a texture. It doesn't taste so eggy anymore. Wait, wait, wait. Scrambled eggs, fried eggs, how, what kind of egg do you put it on? Well, it, it could be sunny side up, it could be scrambled. I even put it in cottage cheese. It's got a whole new flavor when you when you put mustard in cottage cheese. Oh my God. We're I'm, learning something today. I'm so excited. I'm going to try it. I love cottage cheese so much. So I totally will try that. That sounds great. It sounds weird, but listen, people, just try it. That's right. <laughs> That's the name of the book. That's why we're here today to tell you about Just Try It, the book I wrote with. Lily Rosenthal. <laughs> what I love about this book is the father-daughter relationship because I grew up in an age where, where dad was around, but dad didn't have this kind of a relationship with, with especially even with my sisters. And so this, this book right here opens up so many doors. Oh, That's thank so you so nice. much. Listen, we wanted to make it, uh, uh, have a book with a little bit of a message, but if it wasn't fun and funny for kids, we didn't have anything. So with, that was, you know, it's all these things that you have to uh, keep in mind when you're doing any kind of entertainment. Yes, it's good to have a story. You have to have a story. You have to have a message. But if it's not entertaining, mm -hmm. nobody's going to watch it or read it. <laughs> there are many times, Lily, that when, especially when you came across the pizza, I mean, people like to invent their own pizza and their own flavor. And, you know, I, I, if it doesn't have pepperoni on it, it's it's like, I don't know. But like like you say, Phil, just try it. You got it. You I mean, it. and now I'll try any kind of pizza he puts in front of me. So the book really works, people. But the, the main thing is if you don't try things, and I know a lot of grown-ups who don't try stuff, how do you know that you wouldn't love it? Yeah, what you if could, you find something that's the greatest thing you ever did or had or I mean, you tasted? Could, you could be one bite away <clears throat> from your new favorite food. How exciting is that? One bite away from your new love. <laughs> See, that's the way I felt about spinach. As a kid, I wouldn't go anywhere near it. But as an adult, I can't yes. get enough of it. There you go. Me too. Yeah. I, I love spinach now. Like sautéed, some garlic, yeah. very nice. Fried, very nice. Fried spinach. Flash fried spinach. Yes. Wow. Do it. Cool too. That's a good way. That, by the way, very good way to see, uh, to have kids try. Yeah. A flash fried. Yeah, yeah. Because then it's uh, like crispy, of... like a potato chip. Oh, it's good. Oh man, yeah, you put you put it in the air fryer. Oh my God, I do that even with cauliflower. And I'll, what I'll do is instead of it. having nachos, I'll put cauliflower in there, and then I'll put all the other oh. ingredients. So I have like uh, cauliflower nachos. Wow, oh, we're learning from you today. Yeah, what a teacher. Thank you. I love the humor that you guys have put in this book, especially when eating the pretzel. And Phil, you get you get mustard on your shirt. Every guy goes through this. I just think that was so relatable. Yes. Yes, it happens from birth when they spit up on you. <laughs> <laughs> Is this going to lead to a cookbook? Because, Phil, I mean, with everything that you have gone through around the world, the, the two of you putting a cookbook together would be amazing. Well, you know what? He actually has a cookbook out called Somebody Feed Phil the Book, and a second one is coming out. And... We have this kid's book, and we're going to do another kid's book. So more books are coming. And there might be a collab cookbook as well. Yeah. Who knows? A little yeah. kid's maybe, cookbook. Maybe yeah. there'll be mustard on eggs in that book. <laughs> <laughs> we'll dedicate it to you. <laughs> From one author to you guys as authors and as storytellers, I love the size of the book. Because when I was a kid, if, if you know, uh, Curious George and Clifford the Big yeah. Red Dog, they were all yeah. huge books. And I think going back yeah. to this format is so amazing. I love the size too. I'm glad you mentioned that. Uh, uh, it makes it feel special. Mm -hmm. And it makes it feel like a kid's book. Kids are yeah. excited to read the big book, <laughs> not the little one that fits in the back. And Lou Flowers, <laughs> his drawings, uh, he's one of the great children's illustrators of all time. And his drawings deserve to be big, right? Like IMAX. Yeah, yeah. How did you team up with Luke? Because you're right, the, the, the illustrations in this is is amazing. I mean, you first yes. of all, I, I guess I'm still a kid. I look at the pictures first, then I read what's yes. in the bubbles. Yes. 
Yes, of course. Our, our team was able to, to put us in touch with Luke and we just fell in love with him, with his illustrations. And we, he liked the story. Yep, and, he, and he, he watches the show and he totally got it. So it was easy. Easy choice. I, I love the way that you put focus on on the pretzel because that pretzel has gone through so many right. evolutions, especially today. Because at one point in time, that's all we did was put mustard on it. Now it comes in several different types of flavors. In fact, there's one that's out that's there right. right now that has brown sugar on it and cinnamon. Right. Sure. Like a like a churro pretzel. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, listen, I'm from New York, and I know in Philly this is a thing. The mustard on a pretzel is just how I grew up, and I love it. What what gave you the uh, the idea to do the food trucks? Because I mean, every city has a food truck convention, basically, and it, it, I just think this is so up to date and modern, and kids can identify with this. Yeah. Well, we knew that we wanted it to be something that was accessible. Food trucks generally, like when they're in a, a great area, you can hit a bunch of them really fast. And we, we knew that it had to be kid friendly. We knew it had to be based on something real that we love to go to. And uh, a food festival might be too, you know, small, a little kid at a food festival, yeah. I don't know, but uh, a food truck festival where it's just all the trucks and you can run around, that's fun. What about a book that's based on fair food? Because here in the South, oh my God, we go crazy with food down here. Yes, you do. You know, I'm coming. Did you know that? No. That I'm coming? I, well, so I have a live show that I go around the country with uh, where we show a highlight reel of somebody feed Phil a little bit. And then I go on uh, with a moderator and I tell funny stories and then talk to the audience for most of the show, Q&A and then a meet and greet. Oh and I'm God. actually coming. Do you know this theater? The night theater yes i do it's an amazing theater Charlotte. oh it is so right. intimate in there oh my god i love that theater so i'm coming april 19th wow. and you can get tickets now and and i'm i'm gonna be in charlotte north carolina uh no sorry that's charlotte i'm gonna be in durham on the 18th the oh. night before at the carolina theater so I'm talking to you, my friends in North Carolina. Come on. <laughs> we are going to be there. You guys have got to come back right. to this show anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for you. Thank you. That's so nice. Thank you. We appreciate you. We're going to try mustard on eggs because of you. <laughs> and in cottage cheese. <laughs> yes, both. Yes, we love cottage cheese. Yes. All right, you guys be brilliant today, okay? Thank you, you are so brilliant. much. Thank you.